Welcome everyone. Welcome to WAGHL. Today we will show you a unique feature by which you can connect unlimited WhatsApp numbers in a single sub account and this is going to be very beneficial for you and for your team members. In a standard scenario, you are using one WhatsApp number in a single sub account as of now but now we have launched an advanced feature where you can connect unlimited WhatsApp numbers in a single location. Let's say you may create a number of users like user 1, user 2, user 3 and each user can connect their own WhatsApp number and every user can send and receive messages using their own separate number. So here every user will be able to send and receive messages using their WhatsApp number separately. So in the same way if you have multiple users who would like to communicate using their own WhatsApp numbers, then they can do that easily. Here users can't see each other's messages. They will be able to see only their own messages and as an admin you can see all the messages and conversations of the users. This is how it will work. The next we have a team feature. Let's say if you are having a team like a sales team support team. For example if you are having a sales team with three members and all three members would like to communicate with the same WhatsApp number then they can make contact with a single number. So sales 1 sales 2 sales 3 all can log in with their own ID and they are going to see the data of their assigned customers only and all three can communicate using the same number. So this is very high tech feature where you can use the same number in communicating with your customers for the every individual team. Here, you can use a separate number for the sales team no matter how many members you have within this team. 2, 3, 4, 5. In the same way you will be having different separate number for the support team as well. Here you may have as many members or unlimited members as you want within this team who would communicate with a other separate number. And also here, if you want to add a user in the same sub account with a separate number then you can do that easily and as an admin you will be able to see and monitor all the communication. What they are doing. How they are responding to the customers. Whether they are responding to or not. So this is very advanced and useful feature and we are happy to provide you this. Now let us see how you can implement the multi-user feature in a single sub account. You can have multiple WhatsApp numbers for each and every user and they can send receive the messages using their own separate WhatsApp numbers. Here you need to create your multiple users within single sub account and for that you need to go to settings. Then go to my staff. As you can see I am having two users here and if you don't have users you need to create users. While creating the users you need to ensure about the user permissions. The user should able to see only his assigned data. So that user should not get confused by seeing the another customer's messages. Please note that you need to enable only assigned data permissions for him so that the messages coming to his number he can able to see those messages only. Please don't forget to make these changes and click on save. Otherwise he may receive the messages from the other customers in his GHL conversation tab. And if you are already having users here so you need to enable for all the users and then click on save option here in the bottom. Because I have already saved that so I just click on cancel. You can see we have two users here and as per our new feature every user can connect his WhatsApp from his own phone number. So after doing this you need to go to your admin panel. In case if you don't have the agency admin panel you can contact us. We would create admin panel for you. Now under the admin panel you need to search for the location. For which location you have enabled the users. So for me I have enabled the user for this location. So I will go the edit option of this location. After clicking edit button you will see a multi device option here. By default this option will show you as no and to use the multi-user feature you need to set it to yes then click on update. After updating it you will get a confirmation pop-up message. Once you have done it you will see the information has now changed to multi-user as you can see here. Now in the next step you need to face the users which you have created or which you may be already having under that sub account. To do that you need to go to the view icon and under view we have option to sync users you need to click on that to get the user details. Once you click on that you will get a confirmation pop up message. And now you can see the users here same as I can see the two users which I have created user 1 and user 2. And in order to use this feature you need to click on edit button again below action. Then you will see a device update option. Simply set it to yes and then click on update. 
update and now the multi-user feature is enabled for this user. In the same way if you want to enable the multi-user feature for the second user as well then you should set this to yes and click on update. So for the every user whom you want to allow for the multi-user feature, you need to enable their device update option to yes. Then only you will be able to use this feature. This we have done in the admin panel because you may not want to use multi-user feature for every user. Now let me enable this feature for user 2 as well and click on update in the same way. After pulling users here in the admin panel, now you need to go back to the GHL and switch to your agency view account. Here click on settings and then go to custom menu link. You must have already created the custom menu link if the locations are registered with us in our system. So if the location is already created then you need to modify the custom menu URL by replacing the new URL, and for the new link, you can find it in the description of this video. And in case if you have not created the custom menu link in the agency view account, then you need to create new by clicking on create new and you can put the WhatsApp icon here, in the name you can enter any name. You can put any name here but we suggest you put such a name that you can recognize here as multi-user. As we are putting name here as WhatsApp multi-user. So now let me just copy and paste my link here in the URL. And let me disable the first option here. And under this I should not show it to all accounts. So I should disable this. Because for few accounts you may not using this multi-user feature. So you should show this to the account for which you have enabled the multi-user feature. Here I am selecting the same location for which I have enabled the multi-user feature and then click on save. Once you done this, you can switch back to that location again. Now after switching back to your location, don't get confused by the seeing this error because multi-user will work only under the user for which you have enabled this multi-user feature. The locations for which you have enabled this feature it work with these. So for me I have enabled this feature for user 1 and user 2 and in order to test it out, I need to log in as user 1. Once I log in as user 1 and click on WhatsApp multi-user icon. Now here you will see a WhatsApp QR code. You need to scan this QR code twice normally same as like you do for an ordinary single user account. Now let me just scan this QR code for my user 1. Once it gets connected. After it showing you as connected, try to send message to the connected from any other number and you can check this in conversation tab or you may a create a contact here and send message to that contact. You can check that this message should go from the connected WhatsApp number of user 1, which you have connected to user 1. And same way you should be getting incoming messages as well. Now after switching to user 2. You can connect that number to the QR code. Then check sending of messages to any dummy contact and also check incoming by sending messages from external phone to the connected number of user 2. So this is how you can add multi-users in a single sub-account and also please ensure that if the contact is already there in the GHL and the contact is assigned to any other user. So in that case this user may not show the conversation here. For that. Contact should be assigned to that user and you can do that in the admin panel. And you can go to contacts here. You should assign that contact to either of the user. By default this contact is unassigned and let's say I want to assign to this contact to any of my user. User 1 or user 2. Simply if you want to see his messages under user 1 or user 2 then you need to assign it under that particular user. Once assigned. The messages will start showing to user 1 or user 2 to whom you assign that contact, and he will be able to send messages from his WhatsApp number. So you should do that and assign to users carefully. In this way you can add multi-users in single sub-account. And for other details check the description given along with this video. Thank you.